point slope form of equation of line uh, if we are given a point and the slope of a line then that time we can find out the equation of the line I may say uh, we have a line and uh, we know a point through which that line passes and we know the slope of the line then in that case we can find out the equation of the line okay so uh, that we are going to discuss here uh, let me make a rough diagram here suppose uh, this is my y-axis right and this is my x-axis let me say uh, I have a line uh, I have a line uh, this is my line okay so in this line let me say there is a permanent uh, point P whose coordinate is x0 y0 all right and uh, the slope of the line the slope of this line you know uh, is M right let me su suppose M is here the slope of the line uh, this line L okay and now I'm going to imagine a point here right point let's say Q uh, which is which is X comma Y all right here yeah, X comma Y is a such a point which is satisfying in this equation of line means this point uh, x comma y whenever we put the value of x and y in the equation of this line l then that satisfy the equation means uh, x and y is a general point uh, general uh, general point for the line l means any value of x and any value of y whenever we'll uh, plug into this line l then that time uh, we'll get uh, the equation satisfied all right it's a general point all right so now in this case you know the slope of the line slope of the line is uh, m and which is equal with now c uh, if we have the two points all right this is the permanent fixed point in this line and this is uh, this is x y the general formula a general point all right then that time uh, whenever we have the two points then we can simply uh, write the ratio of the difference of y coordinate over the difference of x coordinate so uh, y2 over y1 over x2 minus x1 is the is the slope of the line and here now m is going to be equal with y2 you can imagine any one x2 y2 and x1 y1 right so let me suppose this is y2 so it's going to be now y minus y0 divided by x minus x0 and now uh, if I'm writing properly then it will be x minus x0 times m is going to be y minus y0 alright so in a proper way I'm writing here the final answer of this uh, y minus y0 equals to m times x minus x0 alright so this is the uh, required equation of the line alright uh, I'm just giving you one example uh, based on this equation of line okay suppose we have a line okay uh, let me say we have a line and this line is passing through the point let's say p2 comma minus 3 and the line has a slope let's say 4 then that time what will be the equation of this line all right so this time let's say this is a line is uh, let's say let's say l1 so in this case now a uh, point is given p x0 y0 is equal with 2 comma minus 3 and the slope m is given as a 4 so therefore now equation of the line equation of line l1 is given by is given by uh, y minus y0 equals to uh, equals to m times x minus x0 the same equation that we learned here right y minus y0 equals to m times x minus x0 so now uh, this y and this x is the general uh, point for the equation so we're gonna plug the value of y0 and x0 now right so it's y minus y0 y0 is here minus 3 so it will be plus 3 and now m is 4 all right m equals to 4 and now x minus x0 x0 is here 2 right so it's 2 and now we'll get y plus 3 equals to 4x minus 8 and uh, now we can write uh, y plus 3 minus 4x plus 8 equals to 0 so finally we are getting y minus 4x plus 11 equals to 0 or even if we want to write properly then it will be 4x minus y minus 11 equals to 0 
all right this is the required equation of the line which is passing through the point p 2 minus 3 and having slope 4 all right and uh, similar type of lot of questions you need to do, uh, do uh, many many type of the uh, twisted question will come based on this point slope and sometimes uh, we are going to learn more forms of the equation and by mixing the all forms you know you will get a lot of lot of questions and uh, I hope you will learn those all.